Hi friends, welcome to my channel tastyanswers.com and my name is Deepak Singh. So today we will learn the advanced locator technique by using CSS selector. So start your Eclipse and uh, also open your browser facebook.com URL like this and start the firebug like here ok so friends for as earlier when we used the firebug tool here we select any text box and got x path ok but if you want to select the CSS you need to change it as a CSS and do the same like this hash id ok this is this is the automate automate things to get the CSS selector id but if you want to achieve it manually like you taught in my previous video x path the same way we used here in a css selector video so for in the man achieving it manually we have different ways so first we learn the locating by the css selector CSS selector are a string pattern used to identify an element based on a combination of HTML tag. I think you have seen here. Okay. The ta HTML tags like ID, class, and attributes. Locating by CSS selector is more complicated than the previous method because in the previous methods you have selected a x path or a name or the id or a tag name anything are you okay but here in the css selector it it is the most common connecting strategy of the advanced selenium because it can access even those elements that have no ID or name so CSS selector have many formats but we will only focus on the most common ones like the first one is tag and ID ok and the second one is tag and class third one is tag and attribute attribute and the next one is tag class and attribute and in the last we learn inner type ok so first we achieve the tag and id ok ok so friends we target our first case as a tag and id tag means the html tag like i just copy it and paste it here in the below ok So the tag is 
the HTML tag like input. So that means input and in between we use the separator as a hash ok so the separator is hash and the id id exactly mean the id value so id value is image ok so this is the our value of css selector so i will use it in our script so first you create a one class open your eclipse and create a class for creating a class right click on the com.htnsos package in selenium guru project and go in the new menu and click on the class give the name of the class like css selector ok and choose the by default public static white main method and click on finish ok so create the object of the firefox driver the type of the object is web driver and the name of the object is o web driver equals to new is the keyword for allocating the space in heap of this object ok and in the last firefox driver class now the next step is maximize the window object dot manage dot window dot maximize after maximizing the window I need to open the facebook.com URL so you know to how to get the URL go web driver dot get and the argument 0 section we need to pass the URL of Facebook facebook.com ok so after open the URL you need to locate this element and give the give your email id and in the notepad I explained how to you get the value and you already copied it so I just comment here CSS selector locator by using tag hash i ok this is the comment because the next line I use this o web driver dot find element as usual by by dot css selector by dot css selector and in the place of the selector we need to bypass our a string copied of from the notepad so paste it here after locating the, locating the element we need to enter the value in that email text box so enter the value you we use send keys and the value is testing answers ok now save it 
now save your code and run it for the verification So Firefox driver max uh, that initialized it's automatically maximized and type the URL now the URL opened let's wait if the system is able to enter the value or not you have seen that is automatically enter our ID testing answers so now you understand close this browser now you understand how the tag and ID work in CSS selector okay okay now we achieve this now this comment this line and uh, okay and achieve the same thing means we enter the same value here by using our second method tag and class before using this I explain the tag and class the tag is the same as the HTML tag like in the in, in the tag and ID here and in the class is also as the same attribute as a class class value this is the value ok text input so we use here like this but in the tag and id we use as a hash as a separator but in the tag and class we use dot as a separator and in the last class value ok you have any doubt then you can ask me or you can comment ok so i think yes this is clear so copy it and go back to your code I just paste the same line from the above. I use tag dot class. Okay, like this. Right. And in the place of CSS selector, selector value, we need to enter the selector value of tag and class. Okay, like this. Okay now run your code and verify is the tag and class method work or not in CSS selector ok now browser initiated wait for the maximize Okay, now it's automatically maximized and wait for enter the URL. Okay, it's automatically enter the URL. Just wait for open the page and enter the value in email or phone text phone text box as a testing answer. Okay, now URL open, just wait. You have seen that this in this text box email or phone automatically system enter the value testing answers. Okay, now close and go back to your script. Here I don't know have any exception that means our script executed successfully. But friends, you take a note that 
when multiple elements have the same HTML tag and same name so only then in that case only the first element in the source code will be recognized I will take an example just wait look at here just select tag name is as a input and the class name is input text for email or phone okay so if I use this tag and class input dot input text then it will enter the value in the email text box you have you have already seen the example but select the password text box look at here the tag name is as a same as a input and the class value is same as a input text as in the email okay so in this case if you choose the selector as a tag and class then every time your password will enter in the email section because the email is appear first and then appear the password so if you want to achieve this don't use the tag and class use tag and id because id is the different for the both for the password id pass and for email the id is email so you can use this so I hope you enjoy this video I will explain these rest of three in the next video so please uh, subscribe my channel and wait for the update thank you friends thank you for watching my video please like comment and don't forget to subscribe